I never hidden the fact that we do stem cell treatment from people because I feel it is important for people to be aware of that there are options. When you have a child with cerebral palsy, every single thing is significant and every little improvement is, is a win. My name is Ina. I came um, from Australia um, to have a treatment for my son, Ashley. Um, Ashley is five years old, almost six. Um, he has acetoid cerebral palsy. Um, he was born um, at 23 weeks and four days, so he was extremely premature. And by the time um, he was one year old, um, he was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Well, um, cerebral palsy um, affects some um, physical abilities, Ashley's physical abilities and ability to uh, verbally communicate. It's quite difficult, he's a very intelligent child, but physically he's at the level of possibly six months old baby. He has fluctuating tone and he doesn't have a full trunk control, um, so he's not able to fully um, hold himself. He couldn't express his thoughts in any way. Um, he found very difficult to um, look at people with his um, central vision. He could only see everyone with his peripheral vision and his head to his eyes always had to be pointed up. He was very difficult to understand. He couldn't eat any solid food. There, there were so many things he couldn't do. Everything has to be done for him. Neurological conditions, there are not many treatments available. So um, when Ashley was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, which um, at that time he was 13, 13 months old, originally when Ashley was diagnosed, our first neurologist that we went to see, um, when I asked him a question, okay, I didn't know what cerebral palsy was. So when I asked a question, what can be done to improve his abilities? Um, the neurologist said, there is nothing you can do. And basically you can give your child um, some physiotherapy, but apart from that, there is really nothing you can do. Once they have a condition, that's a condition for life. And I guess both me and my husband are um, not a type of people to give up. So we started um, doing things like kinesiology, uh, chiro work, physio, point percussion therapy, occupational therapy, um, and then we discovered stem cells. Um, in Australia, they don't do stem cells for neurological conditions, so we had to seek treatment overseas. Since Ashley started receiving stem cell therapy and other therapies on a very regular basis, he learned how to, um, with inflatable collar, but he learned how to control himself um, in the water. Ashley can um, use his central vision really well, so um, he can watch TV, uh, listen and communicate with other people. He is improving um, all the time. Um, he's a very intelligent child. He can control different switch devices um, and communicates with computers. Um, he can, to some extent now, um, start and stop um, music videos on an iPad and um, he's a very hard-working child so he understands that our goal in life to achieve the independence and basically me, my husband um, and Ashley, all three of us work towards that. You can hope for miracles but it's a lot of hard work as well. It's not just that you receive one treatment, go home and you can lay on a sofa, chill and relax and not do anything and, and things will happen on their own. You have to work hard. I guess having stem cell treatment um, and then working hard, you see more results, so you feel more positive um, that something you're working towards is clearly working and, um, and it's easier to keep going um, when you know um, things are going in the right direction. All I'd like to say to other people is it's always good to try um, to look at the glass as half full rather than half empty. Um, and I always and I wasn't that person before Ashley, but now I understand um, positive thinking is extremely important. And it's also important to be grateful um, 
for just being here, having what we have, um, and just try to work as hard as possible towards some um, more positive um, um, things in life.